Well, I was gonna talk, but I'm out of breath. That hill was brutal. All right, guys. So, it's been two years since I started the channel. We came upon it like a few months ago. Um, I didn't get a chance to record um, to do the two year anniversary thing. So this video is it. I thought it was gonna be fun to kind of see where we were back then uh, when I recorded my first anniversary video. We were um, reaching about almost 3,000 subscribers. Um, so that was a great feeling to have you guys kind of come along and join me for that first year. Um, so you know who you are. Thank you so much. I appreciate it all. And just uh, you guys being here, it's really cool. So yeah, fast forward to today and we are now just over 15,000 subscribers. That's incredible. And thank you for just being a part of the growth um, and where we are today. Um, and I want to give back, so I want to do a giveaway today, um, and I'll explain all of that in just a little bit. Yeah, here we go. This is good. So let's go back and highlight some of the things that we've done this past year um, to do a quick recap on things. So one of the biggest things that happened was the big move um, that I did into the studio. Um, now the studio, the garage. I am able to now work um, out of there full time and not have to worry about like glass getting all over the place, um, things getting kind of messy. Um, just to have your own space is very important. I'm still there, I love it. I got that big um, glass cabinet um, storage, so that has been amazing um, to store all the glass that I have and also that big drafting table um, which you can't use as a drafting table because there's all kinds of junk on it um, but it gives me enough space to be able to work on my projects um, so yeah after moving into the garage and trying to get things going again um, then the coronavirus hit and everybody was on lockdown um, so that was some weird times luckily for me I was able to work out of the studio um, to basically isolate myself and just work out of there. Yeah, so after getting situated with uh, the studio, I got in touch with Toyo and they were so kind um, to be able to send me those glass cutters um, so we could do a review on them. And so I have that video if you guys are looking and trying to decide uh, which Toyo cutters um, to get. Take a look at that video, hopefully it, that can help you. Um, Toyo cutters are great and I would uh, highly recommend them. Um, so thank you Toyo for that. Not long after that, I got in touch with Inland Craft about their grinders. Um, so I started out with an Inland grinder that I got used from Craigslist um, and it was still working great, um, but I reached out to them and they were able to send me a brand new one. Um, so now I have an upgraded one. The old model is called the Whizzling, uh, which they still sell, but an upgraded um, newer model of the Whizzling. The one that they sent me is the middle version, the middle model, it's called the Wiz. And then they have a third one um, that is the top of the line um, that's called the Wizard. So they have a total of three models to choose from um, and we partnered up with them to be able to get this special code. Um, the code is SGDIY, you get $15 off any of those grinders. By far that's the best price out there online for these grinders. So I'm super happy that they were able to hook us up with that. So being an affiliate with them, um, I get a small percentage of the sales um, as this is full disclosure. And thanks to all of you who have um, bought the grinders um, using that code and that will support this channel um, a small part of it. There is also another code, um, SGDIY10. You can get 10% off of accessories and anything else that's not the grinders. And you can't combine those codes, um, so you can only use one or the other uh, per purchase. So you have to make a separate purchase um, to be able to use 
each of those codes. But yeah, that gives us the best prices on these grinders. So I'm very happy about that. I haven't seen anything online that could beat that price. Um, so extremely happy with what they have given us. So use that code if you guys um, want to get a brand new grinder and have been looking at Inland. Um, they're excellent grinders. I still use them right now. Um, very awesome, powerful grinders. I don't know what else to say about it. If you're a beginner, I would choose the Whistling model just because it's cheaper. So it's 130 and you'll get $15 off. So that makes it 115 And then they have free shipping within the continental US. Um, so seriously, a great deal if you're looking for a new grinder. So after talking to Inland, um, I got in touch with Hako about using their irons, um, the soldering iron. I have an old Hako soldering station uh, that I was using. And of course they were so nice, they gave me a new one. Um, a new model, the Hako FX601, uh, which I feel is the best soldering iron for stained glass. And that's the one that I think um, everybody who gets into stained glass should be using. I just think Hako has it dialed in, the heat, temperature, um, everything just works exactly like you would expect. You don't lose temperature or degrees uh, when you're soldering. It seems to just hold its temperature while you're using it. Um, it has that dial temperature control on the handle itself so you quickly change it. If your iron gets too hot you can dial it down or if you need a little bit more heat you can crank it up. So I think it's the best iron um, that you can get. It is a little bit more expensive um, but once you get that you don't have to think about getting another iron or having to worry about um, you know trying to figure out which one is going to be the better one. That is pretty much the top. So Hako also sent me along with the iron a couple of accessories like the brass coils, tip cleaners, which is probably a good time to tell you guys about this giveaway. But before that, let's go check out another spot. Okay, so I've got uh, a Toyo cutter that I want to give away. I have the oil for the cutter. I have the brass coils, the tip cleaner. I think that makes up a pretty good package. So that is uh, what I'm looking at to give away as a thank you uh, to you guys for sticking around, hanging out here for the two years and um, just being a part of this. Um, so I appreciate it so much and I wanna give one of you guys that entire package. And let's make it simple so everybody can have a chance to win. So just comment below and tell me where you are and what brought you here. And I'll take care of the shipping and everything. Uh, I'll send this out to wherever you are in the world. The winner will be randomly selected and I will announce the winner in the next video. So make sure you get that alert on and subscribe. Once you hear your name, then please get in touch and reach out and I will be able to send this package out to you. All right, let's move on. It's a little busy. All right, so just a few months ago, I created some merch like this sweater. I got some stickers, um, mugs, tote bags. I gotta say thank you to you guys who have bought uh, the merch already and have supported um, the channel in that way. Thank you so much, I hope you're enjoying your new merch. And I've got just this one design right now, but I like to make some new ones. Hopefully in the near future, we'll get some new designs out. So at about the same time the merch was launched, um, I set up this coffee support page, basically short for buy me a coffee. So it's a place where you can tip um, and buy me a coffee if you like the content that I'm providing. And I've got some generous coffees from you guys, so thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Whew. Oh, okay. It's getting windy, it's not too cold yet. Also, I'm looking into this thing where I can add your names to the supporters list um, at the end of my videos to show, like running through the credits to show you as a supporter. So I'll probably add that to the coffee page pretty soon. But if you guys are interested in becoming a coffee supporter um, to this channel, then uh, check out that coffee page. Um, I'll link it down below so you can learn some more. And definitely one of the biggest things 
that I've been able to put together was creating this stained glass starter kit. I realized how confusing and difficult it was um, trying to choose your own tools, trying to decide on which ones to get, what do you need, what do you really need to buy, um, because I had to go through it myself in trying to decide uh, when I was starting out. So I really wanted to make it easy for someone just wanting to start and wanting to do projects. So that was kind of the beginning idea of creating this kit. It just really shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, so it's been a few months now when I first met my stained glass supplier. Um, and now we've been getting together kits for you guys and uh, have been sending out quite a bit. So of course, thank you so much to those of you who've already bought the kits and hopefully enjoying them. And also thank you for anyone who's still considering to purchase from us. It, it is much appreciated. So we started out with what we call the absolute beginner's kit which is all the basic tools and the essentials that you need to get started. And that kit doesn't come with glass, um, so just to keep the prices down. But you can find glass from Craigslist, your picture frames. You can buy glass from your local stores, um, support them that way. But of course, we found out that not everyone um, has access to glass. And people were asking to get some glass with the kits and it does make sense if you're doing stained glass you need some glass. Um, so I drove down to see my supplier and I was able to uh, go through their selection and kind of choose uh, some of the glass to be able to put together into this set. So now we've got this glass set um, that could be another option uh, that comes together with the kit. Soon after that we put together the upgraded kit that comes with the Toyo cutter and the Hako 601 FX 601. So those two items are now the upgraded items replacing the basic cutter and replacing the basic iron. So this kit makes me happy because the Toyo cutter is my preferred cutter. The Hako FX 601 is definitely my preferred iron. And so with these two upgraded tools, you now have the best cutter and the best iron, in my opinion, um, to do stained glass with. So even though the basic kit is going to be able to make glass and you can make glass with it, you are going to be limited um, and also not getting the best experience, I guess, for um, doing stained glass. Of course, the upgraded kit comes with an upgraded price. That's why it's called the upgraded kit. The tools are much more expensive, so you have a few options to consider and what kinds of uh, tools and things that um, you're willing to get. And I think you'll get that much of a better experience. Um, by upgrading to those tools. And this kit also comes with the glass set. So now we have four kits, the basic by itself, the basic with the glass, the upgraded by itself, and the upgraded with the glass. Pretty simple. The next natural step was of course to get a grinder and to try to provide a grinder uh, because I am using a grinder and um, you can get away with so much with just using the carborundum stone, but the grinder is gonna allow you to make many, many more projects, um, especially doing like curved cuts and helping to clean up the projects that much more efficiently and basically just allowing you to do more with the grinder. So I tested out the Griffin Griffit glass grinder uh, to see how that felt and how it was like. Um, I have that video if you want to take a look um, my first run through it unboxing and kind of checking it out doing a review on that so if you'd like to learn some more um, I'll have that video on the link as well. The grinder blew me away with how tiny and compact it is um, but it was able to grind perfectly and um, even though it doesn't look like it could do much just because of the size. So I thought it was a great grinder and a very good one for a beginner. And it's got some pretty amazing reviews as well from other people um, online so please go check that out as well to see some of those reviews uh, for yourself. So we got the basic kit for somebody who's just starting out and trying to figure out the steps in stained glass and trying to get comfortable with the tools using the cutter for the first time, using the iron for the first time, going through the steps, understanding the process. And then we've got the upgraded, where now you're a little bit more comfortable and you want to continue doing stained glass and have better tools, um, basically better tools to be able to do better projects with it. Hopefully that gives a good range for people um, to kind of get into because the prices are different. And in the near future, I'd like to put together like an ultimate kit uh, that comes with all the things that I use, like the copper patina, black patina, um, so a lot of the chemicals, the cleaners. It's just gonna add a lot more into your work. Oh, f no. 
All right, we're gonna get out of here. It's about to get loud. Um, let's get going. Warm benches look pretty nice. It's kind of good. I was getting pretty cold in the shade, anyways. The sun's helping out. Okay, uh, where were we? Yeah, so in the near future, I was thinking of putting together this ultimate kit, basically throwing everything into one big package, and that um, maybe happening. I don't know. It's on the upper end of things. So if you're gonna be a freak about stained glass, then that kit will be for you. Um, to see all the kits that are available, please visit stainedglassdiy.com shop, or I'll leave the link down below. And last thing I wanna mention that was pretty big this year uh, was me taking the leaded stained glass class. Um, I thought that was super fun and I learned a lot and hopefully I could bring some of that or as much as I can into this channel um, to do some lead work. It's gonna be a slow experience um, because I'm just starting out and I'm brand new to it, but whatever I learn, I promise that I want to share. So expect some new videos on this leaded stuff um, in the near future, and I think that's gonna be pretty fun experiencing all this stuff together. Thanks again for the two years. I hope I could share these new and fun stained glass experiences with you and excited about the next anniversary. If you haven't subbed yet, please do hit that subscribe button and join us here. And don't forget to leave a comment if you want to win the goodies. Enjoy the rest of your week or weekend. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next one.